So brother Nas actually got in contact me, he called me. Uh, he asked me to I asked him to call me back next day, but he didn't. I don't know. Why. This month six hundred thousand plays from your album that you released three years two, three years ago. Then I was like and they were like, Wow, that's around five, six thousand dollars for just nothing. I'm like, What? I was confused. I was like, I, I, what? So who I was like, who the hell has my, my music money? It's time to uh let everybody know about this guy. So when I got in touch, obviously I wasn't aware of what happened that day. Um, I found out the next morning, but we'll get into this. We'll get into to bring out another's sin. It's 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 haram. It's haram. What lie? They could do the most evil like stuff in private to bring that out to public. It is haram. If you guys don't like each other, yes, don't back by each other. Don't stand each other. You know why? Because on the day of judgment, you're gonna end up giving your good deeds to the one that you don't like. Check out our sponsors, Nature's Blends. They specialize in premium Ethiopian black seed products. The website is in the description link below. You can also use the discount code SALAM10 for 10% off their products. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. Before I start, I want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, the most just. All praise, his glory and gratitude belong to him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us sincere and amongst those who worship him, worship him and him alone. Before doing this video, I, want, I consulted with my teachers. Uh, one of them picked up the phone, the other one didn't, and I told them, look, this is the reason why I want to do it. Reconciliation in the context, it doesn't mean that you guys become buddies, etc. But I wanted to share you guys with you guys, inshallah, my take on the matter. Um, my take is not important. I'm not here to be a savior. I'm not here to come and be Superman. Yeah, so I'm not trying to be Superman here and come and say save the day. But genuinely, when I'm seeing the fitna taking place, absolute slander from both sides, the followers from both sides attacking each other, I thought I would do this video. And brothers and sisters, wallahi, I ask you guys to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay, to the best of your ability. Ramadan is around the corner. We're like literally about 20 something days away, yeah? The Prophet, uh, the Sahaba would prepare to Ramadan six months in advance, yeah? Like they're preparing for a fight. It's, the, it's a month, subhanAllah, that is there to revive our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah? And Allah's put this legislation in place for your salah. From your salah to uh, from your salah to another salah, from Jummah to Jummah, from Umrah to Umrah, from Hajj to Hajj, from Ramadan to Ramadan, from Dhul Hijjah to Dhul Hijjah. These are things Allah has put in place for us to have that reconnection with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. However, the reason why I wanted to do this video, brothers and sisters, is because it's sad to see anywhere seeing you know Muslims attacking each other. It's not needed. Okay, we've got external enemies throwing arrows from left, right, center. We don't need to fight each other. Okay, um, so now there's accusations that's being made. Yeah. And brother Adam Saleh is, um, and brother Naz, brother Naz actually got in contact me, he called me, uh, he asked me to, I asked him to call me back next day, but he didn't, I don't know why. Uh, so the thing is, brothers and sisters, yeah, is that I have both their contact numbers. I can get in contact with them, but the matter is taken to the public sphere. So I'm talking to you guys, and in return, inshallah, I'll be talking to them as well, and we can squash this, inshallah. Firstly, Ramadan is around the corner. Yeah, that's one reason for God's sake, okay? Now, secondly, brothers and sisters, Brother Adam is accusing Brother Naz from stealing certain funds from the music that he made from Spotify or something like that, yeah? Which amounts to about £100,000, which I saw on Fuzzy Troops um, podcast. In return, what's happened is obviously Brother Naz is, he doesn't, he's not happy with the accusations. He's saying that that didn't happen or along those lines. And he's saying that his family are getting hate comments. His children are being bullied at school, etc. You bought that with this uh, money of Adam Saleh, blah, blah, blah. And then... He's come out and made a series of allegations. I watched nearly all of it, you know, um, to the best of my ability. Just wanted to hear where he's coming from. And he comes with some very, very disturbing stuff in the context where, in the and, and I just want to touch upon this. He's accusing, for example, uh, Brother Adam, of all kinds of stuff that I'm, I'm not going to mention. I'm not going to reiterate here. Um, uh, all kinds of stuff, yeah. And now, from the Sharia perspective, this is a book from Sheikh Salah al Fawzan, uh, the summary of Islamic jurisprudence, yeah. If you read here how severe the accusation, for example, for one to accuse another of theft and one accusing the other of, for example, rape or uh, fraud or whatever it may be. OK, these are serious damn accusations, brothers. Yeah. OK, you are you guys are brothers and we love you for the sake of Allah. And at, there was a time where we um, disliked you for the sake of Allah, not you personally, because you've not, not, nothing done personal to me. Brother Naz or Brother Adam, you know, I never had a personal issue with you guys. Till this day, I don't. That's why, for example, when Brother Adam opened up a mere discussion, I was open. I had no grudge. I had nothing inside me because it was nothing personal. I don't want to have anything personal about this. If I do have something personal, I really need to question myself and my intentions. Why do I have something personal against him? And that is my shortcoming, not the other person's. So it was never about my individual, but it was about 
the deen. It was about the deen and, for example, the youth, youth being led astray, etc. As Prophet Naz, you, you know, you care about your child and rightly right, so you're a father. You care about his well-being. Prophet Naz, also, you need to bear in mind that you have a child. Imagine there's a certain group of people who are misleading um, your, uh, your son. It would hurt you. Brothers, both of you, I'm speaking to both of you, yeah? You guys need to squash this. Well, the reason you need to squash this is, look, Allah, certain events take place. Well, Allah, would you ever thought that a time will come where... When I had an issue with both you guys in the context because of the deen matter I was advising and you guys, you know, you didn't like it and da da da. Look where we are today that subhanAllah, uh, I used to work with a, with, with a brother that we was together and you two two were together. Now, I don't, I, I love him for the sake of Allah, I have nothing personal against him. I speak to him every now and then. But we have had disagreements with uh, brother Imran. I don't really work with him as much. And now you two are not working. This is, this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, wisdom works. Yeah, you, you don't know where you're going to be. Yeah, today's enemies will be tomorrow's best friend. Tomorrow, today's best friend will be tomorrow, next day's enemies. So don't just have anger towards each other and just let everything out, okay? As today you guys had a bit of a dispute and you are now talking about each other's private matters, brothers, imagine, wallah, this is a reminder, imagine the Yom al Imagine on the day of judgment, brothers and sisters, how we're going to be, imagine, yeah? Imagine how we're going to be. If you guys don't like each other, yes? Don't back by each other. Don't stand each other. You know why? Because on the day of judgment, you're going to end up giving your good deeds to the one that you don't like. If you don't like him, people that I dislike and they really bone my blood, I abstain from talking ill of them. You know why? Because I don't want to go on the day of judgment and someone that I hate so much and I'm going to end up giving my good deeds to the one I don't like. I would rather be quiet, hold my mouth, because holding my mouth means that I'm not going to be giving him something that's going to benefit from me. I don't want him to benefit from me at all. From the Sharia perspective, to Allah and His Messenger, like the companion who came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, and he said, I saw my wife committing zina. This, 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 can you imagine committing the Messenger of Allah? And you were opening your heart your and saying, I caught my wife committing zina with another man. Yeah? The, 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 the Messenger of Allah, he could have said, you know what, that's deep, Prophet. What the hell? But he, wo he works based on what? Allah's legislation. You bring us evidence, we take it. Other than that, we do not step out that realm. So much so, you know what he said to the man? He said, you, we're going to have to uh, lash you. Yes, lash, lash. For what? Slander. The reason I'm saying this, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, both of your statements are not valid. In the context, brother Adam accusing uh, brother Naz of stealing, it's not valid. Let me tell you why. And brother uh, Naz accusing brother Adam of very, very disturbing stuff, whatever it is, in the Sharia, both of you guys could potentially, if you was even under Islamic rule, you guys would be in big trouble. Big trouble, brothers, yeah? And I'm saying this because I love for both of you guys, yeah? So you need to understand that it is very important for you guys to stop this. Stop it. Because you do not know what's going to happen. Reconciliation could happen. It's not good, okay? Bring in personal stuff. And not only that, well, lie, it's a sin. Brothers, both of you guys, yeah, I'm speaking to you. To bring out another's sin, it's, it's, it's haram. It's haram. Wallahi, they could do the most evil like stuff in private. To bring that out to public, it is haram. This is wrong. That is the reason why when we first used to advise Brother Adam and yourself, Brother Naz, you know, um, we was attacked. Oh, don't judge them, etc. And we were saying, look, we're, we're, we're talking about matters that are public sins. We're not going to private. If I went and recorded Brother Adam or knew something about him and brought it, it's haram on me. I could never do that. So, but the things we was talking about is the matters that were in the public. When it comes to the matter of private, it is forbidden. It is forbidden. So much so that the Prophet said that all of, like, uh, that, that Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that all of uh, mankind will be uh, Adam, son of Adam, Muslims, will be forgiven except those who go and ex spread their own sins. Their own sins won't be forgiven. Brothers and sisters, what about the ones who are, know the sins and the secrets of other others, which is an amana? It's actually an amana. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That is the honor of another believer. And I'm talking to both of you guys. I'm not taking nobody's side. So for you guys that are listening here, you might be on Brother Nazi's side or Brother Adam's side, whatever it may be. You guys are on one side and that's your Muslimin. You're Muslims. You both are Muslims. Ad, uh, uh, Ramadan is around the corner. Please, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I believe both parties, that's my advice. You can take your note. Just take the videos down. Yeah, the accusation towards the money being stolen, the accusation of something else, whatever, etc. And, and it's sad because what it is, is sometimes, you know, it seems if we're, we're using certain cards that we have and we're using it. And what's sad is like if certain things have happened, we shouldn't use that based on, okay, you've wronged me and I'm going to now use this. If somebody's been wrong, that wrong has, has to be addressed. Yeah, if person A has been wronged by person B, person A's matter has to be addressed there and then. Or whatever it may be, you shouldn't. That shouldn't be used as like, okay, I'm gonna 
you know, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this, but now I'm going to talk about it because you violated me or you. That's not fair as well, okay? Uh, so I don't want to get into specifics. I'm not having to go at anybody. I'm not on nobody's side. Yeah, you both are my brothers. I love you both for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even though that's what's happened. I've forgotten about Aki. Do you get what I'm trying to say, brothers? So all I'm asking for you guys is that Ramadan is around the corner and reconciliation is very important. The Prophet has um, mentioned this. Abu Darda reported the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of uh, Allah, Allah be upon him. Shall I not tell you of what is better in degree than extra fasting, yeah, uh, prayer and charity? These are major things. Salah, zakah, charity, yeah, uh, uh, and fasting, yeah. They said, of course, the Prophet said reconciliation between people. Very the corrupted relation between people is the razor. Yeah, it's in this is Sunnah Tirmidhi. Yeah, it's Sahih. Yeah, so that's the reason why I see upon myself that um, to ask you brothers for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ramadan's around the corner, you do not know what situation is going to change and how you guys are going to be best brothers after. Even if you're not, leave it at that. Do not accuse one another. And like I said before, under the Sharia, under the Sharia, yeah, it's both of your statements, brothers and sisters, is invalid. Accusing stealing. He did this, he did that, etc. And talking about stuff, it's, it's, wallahi, brothers and sisters, we need to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm asking you guys, please, inshallah, leave it at that. You don't want to talk to each other, don't talk to each other, block each other, no problem. This is Islam, it gives you the right, you know, block each other, even though the Prophet said that, you know, believers should not go three days without talking to each other. Um, they should talk to each other. However, look, if you guys don't want to give salah, leave it. Yeah? And for those who are trolling and loving this, wallah, you guys got disease in your heart. Ramadan is there to purify, yeah? For those who are going back and forth, etc. And bullying Nazi's, kid, uh, Nazi's children or vice versa. This is haram. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Even if it is true that uh, Naz took money from him and he didn't give him money, you have no right to go and bully his kids. You have no right. And vice versa, uh, because Naz said something and now you're going to go and start bullying Adam or his family member. This is haram. This is violating the rights of other believers. One is violating the right of the other one, and the other one is violating the other one, and then now you've got people underneath violating each other's family members. Brothers, please, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm asking you guys again, Ramadan is around the corner, please, let's leave this. I would personally say take the videos down, leave it at that. If it's a legal issue, somebody's if somebody's rights has been violated, whoever it may be, you have a right to go to the authorities and you should go to the authorities and deal with it. Get solicitors or whatever it may be. You can do that. That's your hack. Nobody can stop you. But to go and subhanAllah, go down this route where you guys are doing this, wallahi, it's not nice. You're exposing each other's sins. He's going to come out and say, oh, you know, Naz, um, uh, something like, oh, he was doing beating up his girlfriend, wife, whatever. This is a private matters. These are private matters, man. Well, like these are private matters. You do not bring things to the open like this, brothers and sisters. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. That's my take on the matter. And I genuinely ask you, brothers, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to drop it.